Hi, Jim from Off Grid Supply. So we're going to talk about insulated pipe. We talk with many customers that are calling and asking the differences in pipe and why they should choose one over the other, etc. So there is a difference in quality of pipes, and, and when you're buying an insulated pipe, the, the use of it, first off, is, is for running the heat between whichever appliance you have, an outdoor wood boiler, or if you have a solar thermal solar system that is out on your property and you want to run the hot water from that into your into your structures, whether it's a house, a pool, or a hot tub, or a shop. Um, you want to protect protect that water from losing heat between the structure and, and the appliance. So here we've got a couple of examples of pipe to, to show you um, and explain the differences to them. So this here is, is a pipe that uh, you may see quite often. It's It's got two one inch diameter lines they wrap it with what's called an astrofoil type of insulation and they shove it through basically a piece of big O pipe. The, the weakness with this type of pipe uh, assembly situation is you can see the amount of gap between the pipe and the, and the big O. This fills up with water, it gets condensation uh, that forms in here and over a period of time it rots out this, this foil foam type of product that is in here. And once that occurs and you've lost your insulation value, uh, literally we've seen situations where there's grass growing between like a wood boiler and the house. You can see the grass in the winter time when there's snow on the ground everywhere else. Pretty self-explanatory. You're dumping a lot of heat into the ground and that costs money. Fuel, the wood you're burning, etc. So the product we prefer to use, um, this is called, called Dual Pex or Pex Flex. Uh, the company's Uricon. This is used in many commercial type applications. Um, you can see the difference here. It also has two one inch diameter pipes here. It, it's encased in a piece of ABS type pipe, so it's very rigid, as you can see, okay? And they blow it full of foam insulation. There's no room in here. There's no way for, for air, condensation, water to build up around here. So this pipe has a heat loss of one degree Fahrenheit per 100 feet of pipe. So again, a very good retention. You don't need to sand the trench or anything with this. It's a direct burial, so dig your trench, throw it in the ground, cover it up, forget about it. <clears throat> That's the difference, and then we wanted an opportunity to explain that to you. If you're interested in this, obviously we carry this product and uh, we'll be more than happy to explain uh, the additional sizes and all that to you in further details. Feel free to give us a call or give us uh, send us an email. Uh, we're at off-gridsupply.com. Thanks for your time.